Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Uh, today we're starting a series of From Batman to Batman. Uh, today's episode one. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering the macros from last week. We're going to see the impact that I had on my weight. And we're going to see what adjustments we need to make for this week. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, what's going on guys? So on this screen here, what I'm showing you guys is the dashboard for my scale. So my scale is by the company Withings and it's a really, really good scale and I highly recommend it. I'll leave a link to the description box below. Um, but essentially, the reason why I like it is you have an app that you can kind of access on your phone, but also you've got like, essentially you've got a desktop view here, which is really good. So it tells me like, you know, all of the steps that I've been doing. Uh, it tells me, you know, my sleep. So as you can see here, I had really great sleep today. I had about eight hours, um, eight hours, 43 minutes worth of sleep. And you can see here, I actually had really bad sleep. I only got about four hours, 43. And um, yeah, so it's been pretty decent, I'd say. We're trying to be, we're trying to cut here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check on the weight section here. So on 16th of January, which is today, um, and we started everything on the 9th. I started dieting on the 9th. So on the 16th of January, today basically my, my body weight is 179.4 pounds um, and I'm at 17.7% fat mass, okay? So what we've got to do is we've got to compare this data to the data that we've got on the 9th. So can we, on the 9th. So on the 9th, I was 175.4 pounds and my fat mass was 17, okay? 175.4 pounds all the way down to, or not all the way down but down to 174.9 so we've yeah we've lost around half a pound um, which is good that's quite I'm happy with that and the next thing we need to look at is all right fat mass went from 17 to 17.7 so fat mass has increased um, and let's check muscle mass so today's muscle mass is 78.4 and we were set 79.1. So muscle mass has actually dropped a little bit, which is very weird because I have been working at home. Um, and so now we need to make some changes, right? Okay guys, so I've just opened up my fitness pal. Um, and let's basically check out, um, so check out our food, right? So the reason for that is what we're trying to do is we're trying to basically create a link or like um, we're trying to work out the trend of our body weight using uh, the information from um, our food okay so an easy way to think of it right is this is your input so <clears throat> your food your calories your macros all that crap right your nutrition is basically your input that's what's going in right and your weight is kind of like your output and so in order to kind of um, see the effects of our input right we're gonna use that by well, we're going to figure that out by basically following the trend of our body weight, okay? So, let's see if I actually stuck to the macros that I wanted to. So, what you can do is... Alright, so what we're going to do, guys, is once you're on my fitness pal, hit reports. When you're on reports, change uh, weight to calories. And we want last seven days. And then we're going to see if we've hit our target. So, if my target was on 2300, that's what I set up on my fitness pal, 23, uh, 2300. Um, and I set all the protein and everything like that. So if I take a look here in terms of my calories on day, so on the 10th, um, because this is American, like everything's flipped. So normally we would have like 10, zero, one, um, but it's American. So they have the other way around. So you see on the 10th here, I ate about 16, uh, 1600 here and about 2329. So a bit, a bit over here on 2203, 2000, 2100. Here, 6.40 uh, on the 14th. Um, yeah, didn't really eat much that day. And here I had around 14, 1400. And this is basically today's, which I haven't basically inputted. Um, but yeah, you can basically see your 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 trend. So it's, it's even better on the phone, actually. So done, guys, if I basically added the MyFitnessPal widget here, which basically lets me kind of see how many calories I have for the day. I went for a two hour walk this morning, so I built up some calories. Um, but yeah, I still only stick to that 2300. Even though I've built some excess, like extra 1700, I'm not gonna use it, you know, because I wanna create a deficit. So once you hit the, just hit the button at the top here, um, go to, let's hit yesterday's date, 
and then basically so we're on yesterday we hit the pie chart and then we're going to change it from day view we're going to hit to weekly view so we're going from the 9th to the 15th and we can see here my average protein intake is 113 my average carbohydrate intake is 161 and in terms of fat is 61 and the average amount of calories so we're going to hit calories here is so let's see my average calories is around apparently 1607 right so that's not good um, so that means I've basically been semi under eating right but what I'm wondering is potentially this is because um, this is because and probably the reason why I haven't lost any weight is because I probably haven't been tracking properly right so I'm gonna be honest here probably haven't been tracking properly I probably haven't been weighing out my food accurately and also um, some of the meals as well I was taking from home so my mom prepared it and basically I weighed it out and put it in in uh, and took it to work um, and you know when your when your family prepares food you know they add a little bit of oils they add a bit of like extra stuff in there that you don't know about like hidden calories um, and that's probably the reason you know I didn't cook my own food and as a result as a result now my numbers are probably not correct so um, yeah as a result my numbers are not correct like on Thursday for example I only had like this uh, Linda McCartney burger this meatballs um, and that was basically it so um, yeah and also it's worth noting as well guys yesterday I basically did have a I did go and have a takeaway and these numbers here I'm never going to know if they're accurate because this was the takeaway there's no way I'm going to know how much oil they use um, in these foods here so these numbers aren't actually accurate so what I'm going to be doing going forward is I'm still going to be sticking to my 2300 I'm going to run it for another week and I'm going to see how my body weight change changes um, next week and you know it's still good news because technically I have lost you know some weight this week and that's fine that's okay and it's only week one so it's not the end of the world um, so, that, so if you guys have a similar result to me where your body weight has basically decreased a little bit um, then you got to ask yourself right have you actually been sticking to the calories have you cooked everything yourself have you um, weighed everything out as you were supposed to and um, and then yeah and then see if your weight has gone up a lot then take your calories down if it's gone if your weight has dropped too much then add some extra calories in okay and then assess next week so it's like a, a running thing you you adjust it week by week um, as you need to it's not something you just decide okay I'm gonna eat 2,000 calories for the next month and I'm gonna see weight loss no you see weight loss for maybe two weeks they need to take it down um, so yeah also my work is gonna be changing so I'm gonna be moving around a lot more um, so I'm assuming that I'm probably going to be burning a lot more calories throughout the day. I hope you guys enjoyed that video guys. Um, and yeah, today was a pretty short one, but I wanted to get a video out there. Um, and yeah, any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you guys out. Um, so yeah, that's episode one. Hopefully next week we can do some full, like a full day of eating. Um, and I can show you guys basically what I eat in a day. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can hit those numbers. So yeah, peace.